Hi, good morning. Bit of an odd one this for me. I just realised the sun's really just come through the window. It might be quite bright, this. Um, I usually do a company, so if I'm doing Mattel or I'm doing Zuru, but this time this one's like two companies that I'm working on because they're quite small projects and I just wanted to quickly show you the second one. You'll have seen from the pictures what they are. At last, we have, we get right way around, series two of these mini bursts so i'm hoping i need a cactus but i also like the terrariums and i also like the the uh, candles oh there's so many things and they fit perfectly into my cindy house that is why i've gone for them now i did get these off amazon and so they were the full price i think they were 9.99 i'm hoping i know with the first season our bnm eventually got them in at 6.99 so i'm hoping over the next few months we're going to see them coming in a little bit cheaper now the second one i chose was my excuse this was part of my food shopping when I went to Tesco I'm just looking I've gone the right way around are these absolute cuties now these are zap zaf I'm never quite sure how to pronounce it is a z-a-p-f creations now my daughter had these um I can remember they were larger than this when they did the ba mini baby bones at the time we've still got a lot of them my granddaughter loves them uh, and they were absolutely cute but these are even tinier so I couldn't resist having a look and one of them's called Tom as well which is my son's name so he doesn't think that's very funny but uh, I wanted to have a look what they were like they're six pound in Tesco and I just thought they were really nice they make great stocking fillers etc things like that so we're going to go top down with both of these things I'm going to make my mini verse um, hopefully like I say I've got the ones that I'm wanting and we'll see you in a second top down so here we have our cutest of baby bones plus my mini verse. As you can see, I've took the wrapper off one of them. I left it on this one because I just wanted to show you what it's like to open them because you know they can be a pain. So I think the easiest thing is to look at these very cute little guys. They are a three plus doll. This one's called Tom, as I say, and they are seven centimetres. Um, I'm wondering if there must be some sort of colour change thing. I've not really looked at anything like that. I just thought they were too cute. And uh, seeing if there's anything else, obviously recycling information, safety tested, all that. And it looks like there might be a few other things in there that I'm not familiar with. So I have my tiny scissors that I shouldn't use because they are my embroidery scissors. But uh, they work and they're great to get into small corners. That is why I do like looking at them. So I'm just going to move those over to one side a minute. Right, There's a piece of paper, which I think there's something in it careful with these things as tiny pieces they get thrown away right let's have a look there's a little little piece of cardboard holding it in and out comes the baby and is that it is that it let's have a look there's always a leaflet isn't there with these things so it is actually two different sizes you can get and like i said they do look absolutely adorable people have been taking photos and things like that and this is the collection so let's move it down because i know how close the camera is at the moment so we have tom i've got tom so oh it must be a little see a little teddy bear he's got by the look of it so as you can see they are these are going to be quite addictive, I think. I don't know what I would do with them because I don't collect baby dolls. Um, but how cute. How cute is that? That They're just amazing. So I'm going to put the little bit to one side. Oh, he's got there. Da, da, da. And let's have a look at our little baby Tom. So he has a little bit of articulation. The little legs do move like that. And his head, does it move? Oh, I felt a bit loose then. It does. Oh, look, we get a little bit of... You got a little bit of side tilt there. I don't know whether things are showing up so well on this. I've done this is my um well the wrong side of my cutting mat. Um because last time I did these on the table and it made a bit of a mess, so that's why I've put them down. But look, we can angle him so we could take some awesome photographs. The arms just are up and down. Um I don't know if that's something written on it. Oh, it's like a little bow, like a little tie on his sort of like leggings, all in ones, whatever it is. But I do love the fact that you can move their head about that is so cute i'm still trying to work out what this is what is that does that just seem what top of his head is like there is no instruction oh, i'm saying that you know one day i'll actually read an instruction is there instructions here what is this leaflet no this leaflet is absolutely nothing if you've had one of these and you know if it does anything else let me know but this is going to be really super tiny this look at that can you see how 
cute that is. He has the tiniest teddy bear ever known. Let's tuck it under his arm. Right, that's going to be really hard not to lose. I know my granddaughter's been looking at these and I can imagine everything's going to get lost. But look, he does hold it really cute. I'm looking forward to taking it. How many times have I said cute on this video? I dread to think. Um, but I'm looking forward to being able to do some videos because videos photos even because how can i not just look at that right let's have a look what the other one is because i'm never going to get around to this because i'm getting distracted with my little baby bones so again the box is the same information so we have another little paper packet more paper there i'm glad to see it is paper and this is completely cardboard that there's no plastic there or anything this is all cardboard love it Let's try and get you out. I've got the whole thing out there. I think this will be the same, won't it? Um, it's the same looking leaflet. So I didn't look what her name was. That's naughty. Let's have a look. We have Billy. Now, where is Billy on here? There we have Billy. I like that very sort of slight goth vibe there. <laughs> so we'll get her out of the box. She is coming out. There, look, again, little arm movements, little leg movements, and then just the cutest side head movements. Their faces are really, really nice. I don't want to blur the picture. They are really, really nice. I hope that's not blurring. Take it to this side. Can you see her okay? I think you can. But yeah, she's got a really nice face. And what is your item? She has a little hole in her head. That sounds ominous, doesn't it? So, is it something to sit on her head? It is. And look at that. Let's push that in. She's now even, we'll say it again, cuter than before. So, yeah, I think that's sort of like baby and that is toddler. There isn't a huge amount of size difference. The only thing is she's sort of flat on her feet. He's sort of like more pointed. So if you took it down, there would be some height difference there. But, uh, yes, the, these might be sort of... <laughs> A little bit of a collection as if i need anything else to collect but yes look at that i can't resist that little face can i they're just absolutely gorgeous right so we're gonna sit these two here see how well they sit they are, look at that sit really well so they can sit there and watch whilst let's have a look let's pop them together like that whilst we get into these now as i say i have already opened this one not fully i've not opened the content i have sort of a sneak peek um but i've not actually taken them out of the bags and things like that totally different containers as you can see but there's a reason for that now these are their usual annoying undoing so even with the scissors it's still a case of there, there is like a little tag that you pull, there always is, isn't there? But uh, it, is, it is a bit of a pain. So let me find the tag this time and show you how easy or not easy it is. It's finding the tag's a trick on its own. It is there. So you do pull that, but then it does that. I, I'm sure it's something to do with the idea of people like unwrapping things. I don't know. Perhaps it's just me. I'm impatient and I need to get in there. Because now I can't undo it at all because it's caught. Oh, there we go. Get me nail under that bit. Ta-da! Under there. So we have our two totally different looking pods to previously. Now, something I didn't look at on the label, which is something I should have, is... Let's see if I can find it. Um, so yeah, you see, this is Make It Mini Lifestyle. So it's not actually Series 2 because it's, look, it's Series 1. But the other one is just make it mini sort of food type things. This is lifestyle, so it's home making things. Um, not a huge amount. Just general information, not suitable for under threes. Um, obviously, it is MGA that make this. And um, from what I've seen, they are really lovely. So that's the one I've just done, isn't it? So let's go with this one. Now, I know we've been talking about what can you do with these. Um, and I have been looking at other people's videos. People have recommended them. And there are a few things I would like to do. But I haven't decided because these are different again. But they've got to be used for something, haven't they? They're too nice not to. So if I take out the other end as well, it all falls out. So we have these two tops that we can definitely use. I've knocked the baby. So in fact, let's just move them out of the way. That might be easier. Don't lose his panda. And then you get this, which I think is really cool course this is a piece of furniture this is for display 
um i know that's supposed to click in there i'm sure it's supposed to click in there there we go um but for my cindy for example that makes like a really nice modern piece of furniture or i'm sure we can think of other things to make for it so it's not going to stay in there that might have to be glued in and so might the shelf because they are falling out there we go so i'm going to leave that there but you can imagine that's quite a nice display hundreds and hundreds of bits of paper for information now i need to find the uk one because it's in every language which is amazing so because that is really useful um is that it i think that is it so those bits we don't need this is our leaflet that we always get with all these videos don't we so to tell us what we might get or what we have to do. So there's loads and loads and loads of pieces of information. As that's what I'm saying, there's candles and all sorts. It's really cool. There's terrariums, there's um, fish bowls, there's plants. This might help a little bit more. So at the top there, we have the candles. I really do like those candles. They look really nice, don't they? Very pale, so I'm not sure whether you can see it on there. Then it's a terrarium. He's so cute. That does say coming soon. So I'm presuming we are going to be having a second series pretty fast because these are all the paler bits are all coming soon. And then we have our different cacti. And I really like this. Look at that, so cute. And the terrariums that are hanging. I just think it's a really nice one for not just to get about collecting them as items, but things you can actually put in a doll's house. So we have Sun Grow there. So I think that's the product we actually sort of use. We have a pair of tweezers. We got them before. I didn't really use the tweezers. So what we got here? Ah, we have a base. We have a base. I, oh, is it meant to be a marble effect or have I just got a dodgy one? I'm not quite sure. I think there is sort of a pattern on there. I think it's meant to be like a marbly effect. So and we have these again, all in paper. So this is, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, we have two little cacti. They're cute. In fact, I would say that's an aloe vera and that is just another little succulents. We have some little succulents there. So we must have some containers. Ah, look, it does say, look at that. I mean, I've got the pussycat one. I hope so. Ah, I can't get in the box. I'm so impatient. I'm such a child. There we go. Yes, I have the pussycat container, which is what I wanted. So that is really cool. So I'm just going to pop them there. So they would be standing on there. And then we have this. Now, the other ones were resin that I got, weren't they? And this, I think it's like a clay. Oh, look, we've even got We've got a little little piece of tool for our garden. Now, where did I put those instructions? They're here, aren't they? I suspect it is. It feels like it's a clay, to be honest. I know the fish ones are like a, a resin again, but this one doesn't look like it. Um, pot your plants by using the materials and the step by step instruction card from your pack. So that means back to this one, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I know what we're going to be doing. So, cacti. It's this one, isn't it? So, basically, yes. You put it in and you push the plants in. I think it's as simple as that. But we'll not do it just this second. Look at that. It even looks like a proper little bag of compost. How cool is that? You can feel it's like a sandy mix. So, let's have a look. What does it say at the back? It just says... It doesn't really... Plant parent approved? I don't know what it is. I think it's just meant to look like when you get sort of uh, soil or whatever you get from a garden centre. So, our second one. As you can see, we have another one of those. I don't need lots of those. That's the only thing. Let's just empty it all out. But, again, let's have a look at what other people are doing out there. Because I know there's quite a few people. I wonder whether they can... Do they store... Ah, look! They stack. So, if you were wanting, I'll just lay it down so you can see. Um, if you were wanting them to just display on a shelf, this is quite cool because they do stand on top of each other, which you could actually do. So, it has got a little bit more usage there. I like that because they've actually thought, well, what can we do with the pods? They've actually thought about it a little bit. So, you get like a secondary toy. The only thing is, when you maybe bought 10 of these, You'll have quite a few of those, so we do need to think about that. Let's get my boxes mixed up here. I'm going to go with this first because it's going to give me an idea what it is. And it's another little planter. How nice is that? It's a bigger planter, much bigger this one. So we can pop that there. So I think I know what I've got because we've had a look at the pictures, haven't we? We have a large cacti, which is 
is fab. These are going to be so nice in my Cindy house. Now, this says sun, sun grown. It's going to be the same as that one, isn't it? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got two different ones in this one. We have a little trowel again. And this time, oh, that's nice. So we have the soil, for want of a better better word. Potting mix, they've called it. And I've also got some tiny weeny rocks that would sort of obviously go on as well. So we don't need all those instructions. There's lots and lots of pieces of paper. And let's see. So here we go. It gives you an idea just on the picture, doesn't it? So we're putting in our potting compost. We're putting in our plant. And then we're using our little tweezers to put on the little rocks all the way around. Now I'm presuming these set hard afterwards. It doesn't really say any more than that. It is all... Let me find it again. Nope, that's the resin ones. Yeah, it, it just basically says put it in. <laughs> that's as complicated as it's going to go. So let's have a look at this. Where should we go first? We'll go for this one. This was this one, wasn't it? Now, this is why I have my mat down because I know I'm going to get it everywhere. Now, I think if my granddaughter wanted these, I would prefer to have this, the cacti one, than I would the resin. I know she would do it, but you do need the supervision there where the resin is it's sort of involved. Let's double check in. Did I check the age on that? It says not you know not for under threes Ooh, not so sure about that but as you can see i'll tip it out in my hand all the way out it's like a clay you see it's like a gooey a gooey whatever so thankfully it's not going to put bits everywhere but we need to sort of push it in as far as we can into our little pots there's actually quite a lot of it i don't think we need all that for that pot and um, for these particular ones now which shall i have in which i think i'll have this one in this one you are literally just pushing it in. In fact, I need to make a bit more of a hole. That's what the little trowel is for, isn't it? How cute is that? So we can make a little trowel, little hole shape, push our cactus in, and then maybe squish that soil around a little bit. It's like a sand rather than a soil, isn't it? But that's because cactuses can grow in such environments. That's nice. I like that. I say it's going to look great in the Cindy house. I don't know why there's so much. They've been a little bit generous with that, unless I've not pushed it in far enough. I mean, this one, obviously, a little bit more there. And again, the trowel is sort of shaped, so we can pop our trowel in, make a little indentation. We can even pull it out, look like that, and pull out a little bit. That didn't work, did it? That's not what I was trying to do. But you can do that. So we just squashed it in anyway. So we have our little aloe plant, so I'm going to push that in there and then i think i'm lacking a little bit of uh, soil to keep that one in so i'm gonna have to shove a little bit more in there you can always uh, sort of take it off afterwards because to be honest it's not it's not sticky you know it's not like a slime or anything horrible like that it's got quite a nice texture actually i'm wondering if it's something that can be kept so i can use for some of the doll's houses i've put the plant in the wrong way around it needs to be that way take it out and put it in there we go and then just as i say Again, trowel perhaps gives you a chance to push it all in, pretend you're a tiny weeny gardener. And there we go. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the price of that, to be honest, because you've got a nice solid item. I said they will look great if people are collecting them like that, but this is going in my Cindy house. And then I'm not sure, it's, it's, it's quite nice to squish about. I do like to squish things like clay and things though. That that's okay. I don't know what it is, but it feels great. It hasn't irritated my hands or anything like that. Right, big guy now. So we have potting mix this time. So let's see what potting uh, I can't even speak. Potting mix is. Now this one does look more like soil. It is, if I can get in, I've not cut that very well, have I? Um it's the same texture. It's just like a, a, a sand. Is it like the magic sands you can get? Something like that. Um, it's a bit grainy, but it's not sticky, which is good. So we push that one in. Now, this time it's going to go in lower because it's got the little sort of, um, whatever you want to call them, little stones to go on the top. Not sure how they're going to stay in very well. So we'll do it like it says. So we've put the compost in. I do need to make a little ridge where, where my cactus is going. Otherwise, it's not going to fit in. And we're going to push him in. I don't know whether perhaps... Hmm, I'm going to take a bit of that out. I think what I'm going to do is put him in first and then put some of that over it. I know the stones go over it, but I don't think they're going to hold him that well. Let's push him in a bit further. So then I'm going to push 
this on top because he does feel a bit wobbly. So I think that might be the better way around. I might have a little play with this afterwards as well because it's something you can do after. You think you could easily take it apart if you have to. So that's our cactus in a pot. And then we have, I mean, they're saying put it on with the tweezers. I'm not going to be messing about with tweezers for something like this. Um, they are tiny, weenie. Are they actual rocks? I don't know. They they feel very hard. Um, they feel cold. I think they might be little stone chips rather than plastic or anything. I couldn't 100% say that. So we're going to just slide them in. You see how they go in nicely? Now, I'm tempted, because these are going to be staying, staying in my Cindy house, let's put a few in there, I'm actually tempted to put some PVA glue in there because I don't want these little rocks going everywhere. <laughs> That's going to be somewhat annoying um, when they sort of, well, you can see already, they're sort of getting in the way. Perhaps that's what the, the tweezers are for, to drop some bits in. I don't think anything hard. It might harden. Uh, there's a chance that the soil does harden when it's open. I mean, the only way I can tell you that is wait for one of these to be left open and seeing if that happens i don't know but yes i am actually very tempted to just pop a bit of pva glue in the top just to sort of hold everything in place because otherwise you're going to end up with little rocks everywhere i mean you can push the base layer in that's going to stay but as i say second i tip it up they're going to fall over i'll not put that in very straight have I? but that's cute and that's even cuter this is a very cute video. I like these. I will definitely want more because I do want the other items. I want to have a play with the resin ones, for example. I hope I get the terrarium. I think that's really cute. Um, the candles, definitely. There's loads in there that I would like. But as you can see, ah, they all fall out. So a bit of PVA glue for me. I might sort of layer it, actually. At that level, put some PVA glue in. I've got some clear PVA. But the white stuff does dry clear anyway. Then I'll put a few more stones in. You know how it goes. But these, these are, these are pretty solid. And like I said, I've got a feeling. So I don't want to waste it. I'm tempted. What I might do is I'll take a little ball of it out. I'm going to leave it to see if it hardens like a sort of a soft clay clay or something like that. Um, and then it gives us, I'll squash it down a bit. It'll dry a bit quicker, won't it, if I do that? And it gives an idea whether it does harden around the plants. So this has been my play. This would look great, look, but the babies are playing now. They shouldn't be playing with those stones. They're dangerous. Um, but, yeah, you can see how sort of they like the cactus. Um, yeah, that's just a fun video. I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely want more of these miniverse. Definitely want more of these little cutie babies. Um, oh, look, my cutie babies could sit in these as well. So, yeah, display for these. I might find a way of putting them on the wall, you know, if I could sort of hang them. One is going in the Cindy house, though, because I think it would make a great sort of display thing in the living room with the plants and things on. But they might work quite well on a wall or something. I don't know. Have a look round. If you see anybody else's videos that have used them and made them into things. I know my froggy stuff does a lot because I was looking at some of hers um, that she's done. She did one similar to my, that one I did. I did like a hanging chair for Pippa. In fact, I ought to do that because it's a crochet one. It would make quite a cute video. So I might have a go at that. But yeah, I love these. These, these are a definite must. A lot of paper, which is great. Yes, there's plastic. Um, but if you're going to reuse them for something, not so bad. And the babies, it's all cardboard. We couldn't want more. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you've got any. Let me know if you know what to do with these. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. As you know, if you are interested in my videos. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye for now.